Patrick! Look, look! Ryan fixed it! Ryan fixed the bus! <laughs> That's great news! Did you help? No. I was there and helping Mark. He's doing much better now. I hear that you fixed the bus. Yeah, finally. What about you? You meet the resistance? Yeah, finally. I'll talk to Aaron. I heard about Mark. What happened? It was a close call, but he's on the mend now. And I have to thank you for that. So, thank you. So, what's new with you? I've been ordered to go to Pasadena to collect some intel. Is there anything you need from there? Right now, I don't need anything. But there's something you might be interested in. When we were running away the other day, Colin was supposed to bring something. Boxes of adrenaline, painkillers, and who knows what else. Since he didn't bring anything with him, I'd imagine everything's still there. Those stimulants might be useful to you. When used in small doses, they can improve focus and alertness. If I were you, I'd take a look. You didn't change your mind about joining the Resistance? No. I'm packed and ready to go. You're the one that kept saying that we're going, when in fact we're not. Oh, you really pissed me off, I must say. You never told me you had a husband. <laughs> you never asked. Was he at that camp with you? He was. Sweet little man. I had to take care of him when they sent us to work, because he was so fragile. Back at the camp, I used to think that the machines kept Peter alive to get me to cooperate. So when there was an opportunity to run, we had to take it. And we did. We ran with this little child that I had started to love. I felt that she was mine. What was her name? Her name was Taylor. Peter said it sounded too manly. So I said, good, we'll finally have a man in the family. But as you know nowadays, no story has a happy ending. She died shortly after. We buried her, and we stopped talking to each other. Eventually, the Annihilation Line caught up with us. We got separated. I ran away. He did too. At least, I hope he did. That's all. I see you got that bus running again. You didn't think I would, did you? Well, don't wrap me off just yet. I still got it. Anyhow, I got something for you. It's called a termination knife. It's supposed to shut down a terminator with a single stab, so if you're sneaking and you want to take them down silently, well, that's your go-to weapon. I guess you could say it terminates terminators. Wow, that was almost as bad as jam. Where did you get that? A group of travelers came by earlier. 
We traded, talked for a while. Actually, they said something that got my attention. Something about meeting a guy out there who kept asking about Jacob Rivers. He said he didn't seem right. You don't think it's that thing that you told us about before, do you? Sorry, I probably should have said something right away. Have you changed your mind about joining the Resistance? No. No, I have not. I think I'm better off anywhere that bus takes me. I'm moving out tomorrow. Anyone who wants to join is more than welcome to, but I don't suppose you're interested. What's on your mind? Well, you really got me thinking about old Tucker again. In times like these, I wouldn't mind having him around. He always know what to do. He was the only one who didn't lose his mind after Judgment Day. How did you handle it? I didn't. I couldn't understand it. Nowadays, children are born with the idea of death, but back then, uh, I lived without a clue. I felt sick when I saw blood on TV. Tucker said, we need to be calm right now. I listened to him. We all did. Survivors from the concert. Did you contact the military? Well, we uh, eventually found a military base. We assumed that we were safe. But all we found was one crazy dude responsible for nuclear missiles. His whole job was to watch a button that he might never have to press. Imagine what he felt when Skynet sent those nukes without his knowledge. I wonder if he ever pushed that button after Judgment Day. <laughs> Might as well, right? Finally, we found a couple houses, but the people there were as confused as we were. All the communication went to shit. Tucker managed to find some batteries, and uh, we sat in front of our boombox. It started to list cities to avoid. Cities that were hit by the nuclear bombs. How many cities were hit? I don't know exactly how many, but it took them a couple of minutes just to go through the A's. We looked at each other crying. We just wanted to go home and be with family, but Tucker said that for now, the safest place there is is right where we were. So we decided to stay and start a camp. Moving out? I am. Do you need anything from Pasadena? No. I'm fine. Are you sure? Yes. There's nothing that I need from there. He really took a bite out of me. I don't remember getting this cut. Is that him? Yeah, that's him. Jacob! Looks like things are finally starting to go our way. Lord tells me you're looking for volunteers that'll join the resistance. You can count me in. It only seems fair since I owe you my life.
You're going to Pasadena? Yep, I am. I have a mission for you, a secret mission, super important. Probably the most important of them all. What is it? Could you bring me my chalk? Chalk? Yeah, it's at my house. The one with the beware sign on the side. Could you bring it to me? I mean, if you could. I did bring you that bullet one time. I'll see what I can do. Cool. <laughs>